when sister wife star Christine Brown decided she wanted to end her relationship with Cody after more than 25 years, she knew that leaving wouldn't be a quick process. Once I knew I was going to leave Cody, um, yes, fear, stress, but no hesitation, none. So it was almost like I decided I was going to leave him and then I saw myself and I had to picture myself in the end where I wanted to be. I just made the steps to get there and there's no hesitation. I just did the next step, did the next step, did the next step. She said, don't, I don't want you to stay in my room anymore. She's like, my room is a special place to me and nothing special happens there for us. I'm like, okay. Well, first I told him that he wasn't welcome in my bed anymore. I just said, you know, you don't really want to be in my bed with me and you don't want to be in my room. So I don't want you there. I need you to not stay with me anymore. He's like, what? Well, I can't stay there. And I said, no, you can't stay in my bed and you can't stay in my room. You can come hang out with the girls, but then you have to leave. You can't stay. And so we ha and then we didn't talk again for like weeks after that. And the next time he came over, he like walked upstairs. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, you're not allowed. I need to go in to leave. And he's like, where am I supposed to sleep? I'm like, oh, I don't know. You have other houses to go to? And he's like, do you want me to sleep on the couch? I'm like, no, actually. He's like, well, in other like monogamous relationships, he would have to sleep on the couch. I'm like, you have other places you can go. So then shortly after that, I boxed up his stuff. And that was, uh, you know, it was actually a fairly OK conversation. It wasn't too bad. I just said, look, you don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. You need to let me go. And he was like, what do you mean? I'm like, I have to go. I can't stay here anymore. You're not happy. I'm not happy. And I'm also moving to Utah. And I think that's what he had the hardest time with, was me wanting to move. Uh, the whole situation with the house was yucky and what to do with it. But he, he was OK. You know, it's a hard conversation, but he was OK. It, was, it wasn't bad. He was honest. He was brutally honest. But I'd rather brutal honesty than pretending it's going to work. It's not gonna work. So let's just figure out how to move forward. And I always wanted to do it with grace. I remember realizing I'm gonna have a divorce. It's gonna be public. And that doesn't mean that the public will know. What that means is that my kids will know. My kids will always see how I behave. So I just decided if I'm going to do this, and I'm gonna be public, I have to do it with grace. And just do it with kindness as much as possible. So I just always thought, you know what, no matter what, I remember planting my feet several times in the conversation and just breathing deep, grounding myself with grace, listen to my heart, and move forward in the conversation. And I just thought, it, you know, we were married for 26 years, so I'm sure we can be kind. It's tough, right? I think divorce is hard. Divorce sucks. I'm ending a relationship of 26 years. I am who I am today because of the decisions I made while I was married to Cody. So, we were great friends before we got married. You know, I'm just hoping eventually we can get back to great friends again.